Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for joining us today on our Chapter Leaders webinar, the first one for 2016. Uh, today's webinar is going to be talking about International Grant Professionals Day slash week, or IGPD, as it is commonly referred to. Uh, my name is Barb Box, and I am your webinar moderator for today. Uh, just a couple of quick notes. Everybody is muted, um, so if you'd like to ask a question or have a message, just put it into the chat box, um, and we will get to all the questions throughout the webinar, and there'll be time at the end for some Q&A as well. Um, so let's get started. Today's presenters are Danny Blitch, GPC, who is the current chair of the IGPD Task Force for GPA, and Kelly Romero, membership director of GPA, who is the staff liaison for the task force. So with that, I'm going to let, turn it over to Danny. Danny, press star seven to unmute your line. Hello, thanks, Barb. Thanks, Danny, I can hear you good. Okay, good. Okay, so what we'll, this is Kelly, and what we'll go over today, um, basically you're seeing your objectives, our objectives of this webinar um, on your screen. Um, we'll be going over what is International Grant Professionals Day and Week, our calendar of events that we have planned, um, and how, how to involve these events um, in, within your chapter and uh, how to involve your chapter with the whole week. Um, and then um, go over um, any ideas or questions that you have. So with that, let's get started. Um, we'll let Danny take it away. What, um, what is IGPD? So as you've probably already guessed, I, GPD is an acronym that stands for International Grant Professionals Week and Day. And the goal of IGPD or W is to celebrate all grant professionals. So in 2015, GPA established International Grant Professionals Week and Day to recognize and celebrate the work of grant professionals. Um, the week recognizes and celebrates the impact of grant professionals, administrators, consultants, managers, grant makers, and writers for their beneficial contributions to people, government agencies, and nonprofit organizations. The International Grant Professionals Week is an annual international celebration of the professionals who seek, award, and implement grant-funded projects. So each, um, each of the days of the week-long celebration is devoted to a different aspect of the profession, and the week is, of course, March 14th through the 18th of 2016. And we plan to use traditional marketing methods as well as social media again this year to spread the word about grant professionals. We're going to use press releases and proclamations, Facebook ads, tweetables, um, postings on the GPA website. Hopefully we'll have a few more than the 33 partner companies that we had last year. We had a few cities get involved, lots and lots of employers, and of course, you know, nonprofits. And the result of all of that was about 836,568 impressions. So that's our reach or our page um, visitor numbers uh, for the week long celebration. Last thing is that on November the 11th, 2015, at the St. Louis Conference, the GPA Board approved International Grant Professionals Week for 2016 via a proclamation, and I have actually seen some of the pictures and signed the document myself so I know it exists. And that proclamation is actually on uh, the GPA website under the Resource Center. If you go to Resource Center, um, scroll down, you'll see International Grant Professionals Week, and there go over to the files. And if you click that, there's all kinds of wonderful files there that you can go through. Um, and the proclamation is there as well. And there is also a um, proclamation for your chapter to sign, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. So here is our calendar of events um, starting on Monday, March 14th. It is um, all about education and awareness. We have to start here because a lot of people out there in the world still don't know anything about grant professionals and the work that we do. On Tuesday, March 15th is the chapter and community event day, and that's obviously what we want to talk about a little bit more uh, on this webinar. 
Wednesday, March 16th is International Event Day. Um, we're going to explain a little bit about what we're doing this year that's a little bit different. And, of course, Thursday, March 17th, which is also St. Patrick's Day, interestingly enough, is going to be the big thank you day um, for everybody that is a part of this wonderful profession, grant professionals. And then Friday, March 18th, is um, Grant Professionals Appreciation Day, and that's an opportunity for us to celebrate one another. So let's start with Tuesday, March 15th, um, GPA Chapter and Community Event Day. And we're also, um, one of the things that the Grant Professionals Foundation started this year is they're looking for ways to involve more non-chapter members. And so if there's folks out there that aren't a member of your chapter, we're hoping to be able to make a contact with them somehow through International Grant Professionals Week and Day, and then bring them hopefully into a GPA local chapter to gain those benefits. So GPA chapter members and local leaders will plan events, that's you guys, to advance the professionalism of the field. The events will get chapters involved in the community outreach and working in tandem with the other organizations that are involved, and those are the 33 partners. GPA is a professional organization uh, that builds and supports a community of grant professionals committed to serving the greater public good. So we have partnered in this effort with GPCI, um, the grant professionals organization that is dedicated to promoting competencies and ethical practices within the fields of grantsmanship and the Grant Professionals Foundation, the fundraising partner, ensuring that the resources are there to train, credential, and advocate for all grant professionals. So that's, in a nutshell, GPA Chapter and Community Event Day, or in slash non-chapter member day. And then Wednesday, March 16th, is our international event. And last year, um, we had um, several um, Google Hangouts. And if you've not been a part of them, we're going to talk about that a little bit more. But this year, we're going to be moving more towards another video-based uh, international um, platform called Blab, B-L-A-B. So um, one of the exciting things about International Event Day last year is that we had only 86% of our visitors to the GPA website were uh, U.S.-based. So that left a little more than 11% that were international. And so we tracked folks that came to the website from Germany, the UK, Canada, India, China, France, Kenya, Russia, Australia, Turkey, the United Arab, um, Arab Emirates, Emirates, and Argentina. It sounded so much easier in my head. In 2015, we also had 14 chapters participate. So, and we have some of those um, pictures chapter celebrations and other celebrations uh, that individuals um, uh, partook in, and they are on the Resource Center as well um, under the IGPW page. Um, and as Danny mentioned, the, the chapter of, uh, of Community Day, which is the Tuesday, um, that's kind of the day that we want, that we're focusing on today, but as individuals and chapters, um, please feel free to celebrate every day of that week um, and uh, celebrate the um, Friday the 18th and so celebrate yourselves as well that day. So let's go ahead and uh, look to see how you can involve your chapter. Good, obviously um, we need your help creative ideas are welcomed and encouraged. And so how do you want the grant profession to be remembered? And so um, you can organize a chapter meeting on Tuesday, March 15th, if you want. Um, last year, for example, my local chapter, um, we all met at a local restaurant for International Grant Professionals Day. And we sat around the table telling stories and we tweeted out some of those stories. We liked and shared each other's posts. Um, so it was kind of fun and interactive, and we were all able to sit face-to-face -face and share um, with our other grant colleagues. Um, one group down in Florida got together and wrote handwritten thank you notes to their members, which went a long way to be able to say thank you for what they contributed to their 
chapter, but also what they contribute to the profession. Um, we've talked about this in the past. I'm not sure if anybody's done it or not, but this would be a way to um, show the community that your chapter um, has an impact that makes, you know, uh, makes sense, which would be a community service project. And so you could organize volunteers, go to a local food bank, you know, hand out food, put together food baskets or whatever. Um, of course, if you're not into um, service projects, you could, of course, have a chapter sign the proclamation. We have a template. Um, that would be something that you could do. Um, and if you could share that with us, we would post it, of course, on the GPA website. And then anything that you do related to chapter involvement for International Grant Professionals Week or Day, we want you to take photos. We want you to put it on social media. We want you to put it on your website, um, link to the GPA website, et cetera. And, of course, when you're doing that, we always want you to use the hashtags. We've got um, hashtag IGPW. We've got hashtag IGPD. And of course, anytime you're in the grant world, you can use the um, hashtag grant chat. Um, so this year we're adding one other thing. And we're adding what I talked about was the day long live video event via Blab. And so if you um, have ever seen Google Hangout, um, what's interesting about Blab is that there are four different spots that people can actually sit at um, on the video screen, and they can kind of interact with one another, talk to one another, um, share ideas, and it's all recorded for the, basically the world to see, and it's recorded live, and it can also be played back. And so um, this is something that we're introducing this year, and we're looking for folks to help us uh, fill in some of those slots. And as Dan, Danny mentioned, um, you know, along with any of those ideas that are uh, on the screen that you see, you can contact Danny or myself um, or, or committee members if you want um, and see if they have any ideas if, you, if you're stuck um, on finding ways to show your appreciation to your chapter members. Yeah, we've got a couple of more. Um, ideas for you. Some of these, the first couple there, the um, IGPD and W graphics um, to showcase the profession are found in the chapter toolkit, which is on the resource page on GPA's website. Um, there's also sample press release. There's some talking points. There's even social media posts. And of course, I'm partial to the Grant Professionals Foundation, and so your chapter could uh, put out a collection plate, make a donation in honor of um, a grant professional and showing, you know, from your chapter to showcase, you know, the good work that they do as a way to say thank you. You could also highlight um, community initiative in your area that has grant funding associated with it, you know, in a blog post. Um, you could always organize some sort of advocacy day, call your state and elected officials and let them know about GPA International Grant Professionals Week and the grant profession in general. And then, of course, you could always ask chapter members to write blog posts on how grants impact others. And this is something that we're interested in at both GPA, Gypsy, and the foundation is the impact that we have. And, of course, any blog post should have something in there about the importance of the grant profession and how it is, you know, important um, to the people that it benefits the most. And so if you don't have a social media account now, and I know a lot of people don't, um, you know, they may be on, you know, um, Facebook or they may not be on Twitter. Um, but this is a great way to um, get involved, and this is a great reason to start a social media account. And, of course, we will help. Um, we will provide the text and the content, and we even have some folks who have prepared some um, kind of how-to sheets that we can share on the social media side um, so that we can help you get proficient, get your chapter proficient in spreading the word. So you could also ask 
many of the people that your grants have helped over you know time ask them to write a blog article that we can post on LinkedIn for example about the positive impact that that grant has had on their life or on someone's life you know someone that they love so please encourage your members in your chapter of course to patronize our IGPW partners um, it doesn't cost us or them, the partners, to participate in International Grant Professionals Day, but if we were to patronize them more, um, at the very least, um, like their posts, um, I think that there would be a value that would come from International Grant Professionals Week that businesses and partners and schools and universities and all those um, kinds of institutions could see and benefit from, could see the benefit from, and therefore elevate the grant profession. So if anyone is interested in being on Blab or being a partner or joining us officially as a chapter in this effort, please contact me or Kelly. Also, Kelly, um, you want to talk the, about the toolkit. The, um Partnership application is on the Resource Center. If you um, know any company that would be a wonderful partner, if you have a um, company that sponsors your regional conferences or some of your chapter meetings, um, and they, you think that they would be a good partner for this effort, um, you can send them that form that, that is on the Resource Center. Um, it is updated. So, so all they have to do is fill that out and send that to me. My email address is on that form, and we will get them um, get them all of the information needed for partnership um, as well. So, um, there's some good tweetables and and uh, sponsor logo or partner logos and different stuff that we provide for them so that they can um, have a easy way to send out uh, information to promote the uh, profession and the event. Um, also, it looks like we have a question from uh, David. Um, it says, do you have a small logo so that we can change our Facebook profile pic? Um, David, we have the – we're in the logo stages right now. Um, it is uh, almost completed, so I would assume by the end of January we will have something to push out, and we'll send it to all of the chapter, uh, chapter leaders. And then I've added a couple of pictures to this um, PowerPoint or to this webinar. That way you can kind of see you know, what we've been working on and what kind of happened last year. So here's the proclamation that the board signed this year um, and, uh, or signed in 2015 um, for this year. So, um, and that is on the Resource Center. Um, all of these that I'll be showing are on the Resource Center. Um, so that's on there. But as well as this proclamation, we also have a chapter proclamation that you can use um, so please feel free as a chapter to fill that out. Have everybody sign that at your next meeting um, if it's before March, and um, that way, and then we can get that uploaded and uh, on the website. Um, and like I said, we will. Some of these documents that are in the resource center does not have the um, the new logo yet, um, but I will add them once we get that. Um, and here are some a few pictures from last year um, of how people celebrated. Um, looks like this was on the door of the Grant Professional at Mercy Care. Um, so it just is a thank you card from their staff to the Grant Professional. It's just a cute little way that they celebrated her or him. Um, another one, um, uh, I think Danny made my, I think Danny posted this last year. Mm -hmm. uh, right, Danny? I did. No, I thought so. <laughs> um, but uh, this was on Grant Professional's day, and it was just a way that, that uh, they were celebrated. Um, this is the Los Angeles chapter. They had a, a meeting um, with some people um, from the chapter, and uh, and it was on that week. I think it, I think this one for the LA chapter might have been on the chapter day. And then here's the Georgia chapter meeting for lunch. Yeah, I think Dave's in there somewhere, right there in the back. So that's basically um, basically it in a nutshell is our, our slides. Um, we would be open to any questions should you have it if you want to raise your hand, if you have an idea on how you think your chapter can um, help promote this and 
participate with your chapter members. Um, we would love to hear it to kind of give other chapter ideas. Um, so if you'd like to raise your hand or um, or type it in the, the box, that would be wonderful. Dana, is there anything else you'd like to add while we're waiting? Well, I was worried that folks might be a little bit shy, so I did um, I come up with a little something, um, maybe get people thinking. Um, last year, um, our theme was changing the world one grant at a time, which is um, a very good and evergreen theme. But if anybody has an idea that they would be more interested in um, as far as a theme, we would be interested to know what that would be, of course. I'm not sure that we're ready to change our theme yet, but we're certainly interested in folks' uh, thoughts related to that theme or to others. Looks like there is a question up there as well as everybody's uh, thinking uh, for an answer of a theme. Um, what is the number one thing that if a chapter didn't do anything else that you would ask each chapter to do? Danny, you want to start that first? And then I'll give some answers or do you want me to start? The number one thing, if they didn't do anything else. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess um, share with their members um, this webinar. Um, share with them how to get to the toolkit on the GPA website. Um, and, you know, a lot of times just letting folks know it's there um, is kind of the start. They may not be super excited about it for this year, but it may be the seed that builds and plant, you know, gets planted and builds over time and so that there may be interest in the future. So that's, that's what I would say for chapter leaders is just to share the information with folks. And I can actually give, I mean, once, like I said, once we get the logo, um, I'll be building some ads um, and some PDFs and JPEGs, um, and I can send, I'll, I'll put those on the resource center as well, and I can send them out to the chapter leaders. Um, and you can use those to put into, if, you, if your chapter has uh, an, like an email newsletter that you send out, or if you just want to send it out to your chapter membership just via email. Um, you can use that. Um, sometimes, like last year, I think there was one that says, keep calm and thank a grant professional. Um, you know, and another one that says, celebrate yourself today kind of thing. So um, and you're certainly welcome to use any of those to help promote, um, to promote the event. So I would say promote um, as much as you can through your chapter. Just kind of spread the word. Thank your chapter members for all that they do. Um, whether it be in via email, person, or uh, in person or sending or writing handwritten thank you letters like the uh, one chapter did, um, that would be um, my kind of advice to, to start with. Basically, um, if you can't, if it's not in your chapter's um, plan to have a meeting during this time, um, and then if your chapter has a social media um, handles, then um, I know some of our chapters have their own pages and everything. So um, just promote via that way as well. Um, let's see, there is So Dave um, Yeah, Dave says you send out a sample email with a link to the toolkit that way leaders can copy and paste and send. So yeah, we can certainly do that. Thank you. Um, and then Dave, you know, Mark just giving us a shout out. Thanks Mark. Yeah, he says the resource page is great. So if you haven't checked it out, please do so. Um, another question by Joan, what about offering a new and or renew membership during the week? Um, and Joan, I'm not sure if you're, if you're saying for the chapters to offer um, to, to pay out of their own pocket. I mean, that, that could be something that the chapters do if, if your chapter wants to use some of their budget money, um, money budgeted to, 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 to use that. Um, you know, to provide a free membership or free renewal to them. Or you can, um, each chapter, I just sent this out to the chapter presidents on Monday, I think this week, um, each chapter this year receives from GPA, um, it's kind of like a scholarship from us, to each chapter to for a free membership, a professional membership to GPA. 
um, to give to one person of their choice. Some of them like to keep it uh, for the year just in case somebody needs it or somebody expresses a um, lack of budget or anything. Some raffle it off, um, but this could be something that you do this year, whereas you give it to um, somebody during that week as, as a gift um, to thank them for all the work that they do for the profession and for the chapter. Um, so that's a great idea, Joan. And the chapter could... Joan. The, the chapter could cover the cost of the t chapter membership if they wish um, for that. Perfect. Yeah, I just didn't want Joan to forget that the chapter dues could be part of that, um, you know, membership offering as well as the national. And like Danny said, if any of you have have theme ideas, um, we'd welcome them. Um, if if something comes to you while you're sleeping tonight and you have a an idea, um, send it to us, and uh, we can uh, we can look at that for sure and have the committee look at it. Um, Anne would like Anne has a question. Does it matter which day we have our chapter meeting? Um, I would say no, as long as you have one during that week to be celebrated. Um, we want as much possible of the promotion of that day for the chapters. Um, so even if you have the meeting on like that Monday, um, we might promote it, have, have it highly promoted that Tuesday, um, just of pictures and everything from the event. Um, but I, I would be open to if you if your chapter only meets on Thursdays and you needed to have it that Thursday, then I would be okay with that, right, Danny? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It can be really um, during the month of March because. GPCI is also doing their 31 days of GPC videos again. And so there's an ample opportunity to share and to get that kind of information out and, you know, basically say thank you to folks who are part of the grant profession. I think that can be done any day um, or every day. Thanks, Ian. Okay, and let's see. Um... Let's see, it looks like there's a question from David, and David Barb will send you an email for that. Um, and yeah, that's great. Um, for that Wednesday, if you want to have a meeting that Wednesday, absolutely. That would be wonderful. And what you could do actually is if you had a meeting that Wednesday, or like Danny said, if you had it earlier that month, um, just make sure you take pictures and capture all of it, um, and then tweet it out, post it out, send it to us, um, and we'll. Uh, will promote it that week so it gets more promotion. And it's a good way for you to promote your chapter as well. So um, if you have a, a mailing list that are non-members um, on there as well as members, it's a good way to promote the profession, you know, thank them for everything that they do, um, and promote the chapter. You know, it's a good way to get chapter members through, through that way as well because it shows that you guys um, care about the profession and, and membership, and, and uh, that's a good way to invite them to your, your chapter meetings. Any more questions? You want to raise your hand or enter them in the box? That would be wonderful. Okay. Um, looks like Stacy says we are celebrating our 10-year anniversary of our chapter. Wow, that's wonderful. Um, congratulations. Maybe promote the impact of our founding chapter members and the growth of our chapter. Maybe include photos and quotes. Yeah, that's a great idea. Um, absolutely anything to show longevity of, of your chapter and, and, uh, and to promote the anniversary. And um, I'm, I'm, I don't have this information in front of me, but I'm interested to see if that week is the 10-year anniversary, or if it's the month of March or, or sometime this year. Um, but that's a great idea to, to promote, to kind of co-promote all of that together. Yeah, that would be interesting if you could do like a picture collage. Um, it would be fun, too, if you had um, maybe photos back from 10 years ago and then of the membership and then photos now, you know, of the folks that are, you know, at the meetings or something. That would be kind of fun. Okay. 
Sure. See sure. the different hairstyles. Yeah. <laughs> Stacy, yeah, she says not at the same month, but good to promote at that time. Yeah, it's perfect to promote. Absolutely. Um, John, it uh, looks like John has a question. He has his hand raised. Um, John, if you want to dial star seven to unmute your line. John, are you there? If that doesn't work, you can right click okay. on your. Did I do it okay. right? Yes, you did. Yeah. Hi, John. Oh, okay, I, I did 2 7 instead of 7 2. Hey, um, so on the 17th, we just, uh, I was just checking our calendar. We already have a, um, a training event uh, scheduled, and the, the topic is going to be indirect cost, so we can just use that and expand it. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, that's wonderful. What did you say the topic was again? Indirect costs. Indirect costs. Yeah. Do yeah. Indirect costs and uh, grant applications. It sounds a lot like grant professionals. We love to have professional development, you know, as a way of it, you know, saying thank you for all of our hard work. That sounds just like us. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. We want our piece of the the pie, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. Oh, that's, Anything that's, we can do like that is great. Yeah. Take a picture. <laughs> All right, thanks. Thanks, John. To uh, meet your line, do star six, please. Thank you. Um, it looks like there is another question from Joan. Are there international GPA chapters? If so, is there a way to connect with those chapters? Um, unfortunately, we don't have any chapters formed at this time that are international. We do have a uh, following um, internationally. Um, we have members that are uh, thrown throughout the globe. Um, but there are... Um, uh, our LinkedIn group is, is really huge with uh, international subscribers, so it's a good way for us to promote it that way. Um, but no, we don't have any chapters that are internationally right now. I know that there's been talks about a um, Canadian chapter and whatnot, but that has not been formed yet. And um, Joan, I will is add... Is there some kind of validating oh. body that declares these type of days, like admin, assistant day, et cetera? Is there any movement from the national office on that? Dan, you want to talk about what the committee was doing last year to... Yeah, we... Um, the committee actually came up with a plan. We contacted three or four different attorneys, um, asked them to um, investigate the process for declaring it, um, we have to go through our state legislature, which would be the Kansas um, legislature, um, and then we have to have that go before the Congress and it gets signed. And usually it's a fairly easy process. It's just really expensive because of all the lobbying and for all of the attorneys that are a part of it. So um, we have chosen to create an, um, a groundswell through social media first so that we have you know, the backing that we need um, from kind of a grassroots perspective before we actually go and spend a bunch of money to make the day, week, month happen. And I also wanted to add to Joan's question about the international question, and I think Dave is asking the same thing, is um, about international organizations um, that are similar to us. And the committee has been researching this topic. We've got um, maybe uh, half a dozen organizations that have a grant relationship. They may or may be more likely to be fundraising groups internationally rather than grant specific. Um, we are going to be um, reaching out to them to be partners this year. And hopefully one or more of them would be interested in being a part of our international blab also. It looks like Jane, um, Jane says, last year the Nebraska GPA chapter had a celebration late in the day Thursday called Granty Girls or Granty Girls like Mardi Girls at a restaurant. We handed out beads and provided appetizers and soft drinks. Participants had the option to buy their own adult beverage. It was a nice celebration. We may do something similar this year. That's a great idea. It's a good way to bring people together and just have fun with it. Granty Girls. That's fantastic, Jane. Love it. Um, and then 
it looks like. I think uh, David says, I think it would be awesome to find grant groups in other countries to talk about a draw. Yeah, that's a great idea and something that we are working on for sure. Um, Steve says, could we help create an international chapter? I know a few grant writers in the Virgin Islands in St. Croix and St. Martin. Um, yeah, that's wonderful. If, if you can, um, if you want to help, we would love to have your assistance. Um, I'm not sure, and Barb's right here, I'm not sure if we have a regional, what regional, because usually we reply, we rely on our regional reps to kind of help form these chapters. Um, and since it's that area, it would probably be Jody Pearl to help. Um, so Steve, if you want to send um, Barb an email, and um, we can possibly get started on, on doing that, that'd be wonderful. How, how great would that be to have our first international chapter possibly formed that week on that day? <laughs> um, John also says, state, state, county, and municipal governing bodies all have the ability to issue proclamations general at no cost, but they all require at least two to three month lead times. Chapter can approach their governing bodies. Can't argue with that, John. You're absolutely correct. It took us at least two months to be able to get the one that I got for from my um, government municipality last year. And I think it was what Georgia, and then I think Arizona had one as well. I'm not sure the other the other states that did, but I know Georgia and there Arizona. Was Mesa and Surprise in Arizona, and of course Roswell in Georgia. Yeah, so if any of you do get a proclamation like that, please send it to us. Um, we were promoting those last year, so we would like to do the same this year. Okay, um, I don't see any more questions. Um, if you do have any more questions, please feel free while I'm talking to type them in. Um, or you can uh, send myself an email at kelly, K-E-L-L-I, at grantprofessionals.org, or you can send them to Danny. Um, and Danny, your email is, can you say that for me? On the next slide. It's on here, actually, it's on the next slide. <laughs> so here's our email addresses um, for, your, um, for your viewing. Also, the GPA website um, where the Grant Professionals Week is. Um, so it's on the, if you go into the home page in the top gray bar, um, it is there as well, so all you have to do is click on that. And then the toolkit is um, the chapter toolkit that we've created um, with the help of the committee is on that uh, is on the resource center um, area, and then I will be adding it. It just got uh, finalized this morning, so I will be adding it to the um, to the Grant Professionals Week web page um, today. Okay. So I just want to say thanks to everybody, and don't forget, save the date, March 14th through the 18th, and uh, we're going to celebrate together. 